Hi there, Coach James. So I wanted to give you some pointers on how to do a pull down exercise correctly. So any pull from above, as I'm pulling down, is going to work this big muscle on the side, especially the upper part of your, your lat muscle. Obviously the arms are involved, but they're secondary muscles. What we must focus on is what is happening here at this muscle. Okay, this is what we're trying to pull with when we do this exercise. So obviously you're still using the arms, but the target muscle is in this big muscle here, and we must focus on what's happening there. On any pull down from above, your elbow will just come just below the height of the shoulder. That will mean that you have fully shortened your lat muscle, and as you reach up, you reach up just far enough to stretch, fully stretch the muscle. So I pull down, and I try and pull down from here. Pull, 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 pull. Elbow just below the height of the shoulder, and then I control up the way, under control. So I'll show you how to do it on this machine. This is obviously a prime fitness machine. It doesn't matter whether you're using Techno Gym, whether you're using Life Fitness, Hammer Strength, any other brand. The principle stays the same when you're doing a pull down from above. It's how far this elbow comes down, engaging through your lats and then stretching just enough to lengthen the muscle. Let me give you an example. This is too far. You see people pulling down too far and the elbow starts to point that way. This muscle isn't engaged anymore. You see people reaching up too far, they shrug through the shoulders. Your shoulders should stay down as you reach up, you pull down, as you reach up, this shouldn't happen. That's you losing control, that's you taking all the tension off your target muscle, which is the upper lats. So watch out. On every single machine, make sure you set it up correctly for your body. So on every machine, Again, whether it's Prime Fitness, Techno Gym, Techno Gym, sorry, Hammer Strength, doesn't matter. There'll be little colour coded things that can be changed. On a lap pull down, you want to make sure your feet are flat. Make sure this pad is in against your thighs to keep you down and secure. This would adapt and adjust based on the length of your arms and also the size of your torso. With any lap pull down or pull down from above, keep your chest up, head up. Don't be caved in through your chest. Keep the chest up, proud, head up. Now, what you don't want <laughs> when you're trying to build muscle, engage muscle, it's important you walk everything else down. That's why it's important for your feet to be flat. You keep your chest up, keep everything locked, and you only move pulling through this big muscle. <clears throat> so when you do your pull downs, focus on those tips and you're gonna see much better results.